PCE, Patient Care Experience for PA Physician Assistant School. The question is, do any PCE look better than others? For example, CNA, Certified Nurse Aid, does that look better than EMT, Emergency Medical Technician, or vice versa? Okay, so very good question, very common question. People applying to PA school know that they need PCE hours, and so they're trying to plan their life, trying to figure out how to get those hours in the best way possible. So very good question, common question. I'm going to say two things before I answer. One, I am not an ad com. I do not sit on an admissions committee. So take my opinion for whatever you think it is worth. Two, officially the answer to this question is no. No PCE is preferable officially because as long as you have some sort of PCE, which most schools, every school is different, but most schools define as paid experience where you are personally responsible for some aspect of patient care. And there's a lot of different ways to get these things. CNA, EMT, like you mentioned, paramedic, respiratory therapist, registered nurse, you know, lots and lots of ways to get these things. Scribing, not every school takes scribing hours, but you know, I think that's good experience. So scribing can count for some, uh, some programs. So lots of ways to get your PCE. So that's one. There's no official, no official opinion on what kind of PCE is best. So don't really sweat it too much. I'm gonna tell you not to worry about it too much. Get whatever experience you think is right for you based on what you're interested in, the training timeline, if it makes sense to you. Uh, you know, if it works financially, if you have, you know, a family to support, maybe you need a higher paying PCE, whatever it may be for you, like whatever fits into your life and gets you the hours, that's the most important part. I wouldn't sweat it as far as what'll make you the most competitive, as long as you have high quality PCE of some sort and it works for you personally, just do that, okay? So that's the, the easy answer. The hard answer, I would give you just my personal opinion. I would take EMT over CNA any day, any day of the week, I would take CN or I would take EMT over CNA because generally no you know no shade on CNAs or any other experience but I think out of the basic uh, jobs that people do for PCE EMT is far and away the best. It's far and away the best because it's the hardest. It's the hardest. It's the biggest barrier of entry. The training, the certification to become a, an EMT is much harder than for a medical assistant or a CNA. That's just facts. Uh, two, it's a high acuity. It's a higher just like skill and stress job, which means if you're able to handle those things, it just says better things to me about you as a person, you as a future provider, that kind of thing. So being a CNA can, de can definitely be hard. I was a CNA. That was my first patient care experience, first in the nursing home and then in home care. So it can definitely be hard. It's grueling. Those patients can be mean. They can be heavy. They, you know, cleaning up human messes, uh, watching for vital signs. Uh, getting good at vital signs, especially with a patient that's not really compliant with you taking them, uh, combative patients. There, there's a lot of challenges, learning the medications, all kinds of stuff. You know, there, there's a lot of challenges in being a CNA. It's not an easy job, especially like emotionally seeing the suffering of other human beings. It's not an easy job. But in my personal opinion, again, just my opinion, nobody else's, uh, I think EMT is harder. The late nights, the early mornings, being out there, not just in a facility where you always have backup, but being out there in the field, in the truck, where it's just you and your partner and nobody else and anything can happen at any time, it's just a higher level of stress. That being said, also, CNAs generally work in a facility or in the home where generally people are stable. You know, accidents happen, things do happen, people's health does rapidly decline, and that's when you call 911 and who comes to help you? An EMT. Okay, see what I'm saying here? It's a tougher job. You have to know more. You have to be responsible for more. There's higher acuity situations. There's just, it's harder overall, I would say, than being a CNA. But again, just my opinion. Uh, yeah, I think that's all I really have to say about that. So basically, just to recap, as long as the PCE is high quality of some sort, you are responsible for some aspect of patient care, I would prefer that you be getting paid uh, for the experience and the experience works for your lifestyle that's fine. You know, that's what you should go for. That being said, if you really, really want my opinion on what is a higher quality PCE, I would say EMT over CNA in this particular case. Okay. Hopefully that's helpful.